What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Awesome To Be Toy. Today, I'm gonna unbox Transformers Optimus Prime, and this is the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron trilogy. So, as you can see here, this is Optimus Prime, and he looks fantastic. Look at that. He looks almost like the masterpiece Optimus Prime. And this is the front of the box. It says Siege War for Cybertron trilogy, and on the side of the box has an awesome box art of Optimus Prime. And if you look at the detail right here, you can see it's like, you can see this little thing that pops up. The artwork looks pretty cool. I hope you guys can see that on camera. And this by Takara Tommy, and they partnered up with Hasbro. And this is, on the other side of the box, you can see other Transformers right here. And yeah, that's Cybertron. And the right side is Decepticon, left side is Autobots. And this is the top of the box. And this is the Autobot symbol. In the back, what's cool about this, it gives the Optimus Prime his axe, his battle axe, his gun. And if you buy Battle Master, so separately, I think it's like around eight to ten dollars. You can mount on Optimus Prime and he's ready for battle. And let's open up this guy. And if you're new to my channel, please hit the like and subscribe button to get future notification of my new uploads on Toys Review. And yes, uh, if you have any question, please leave down in the comment below and I'll try to answer your question of the best of my ability. So let's unbox this box this thing. And this is my actually my first um, Siege of Cybertron. So I usually, this is my first time collecting it. So for this series. And I found this at Walmart for, I think, $30. And there's only one left. So I'm pretty happy. There's, I think there was like two Megatron and one Optimus. And of course, I like Optimus so much that I have to get him. So here, let's unbox this thing. So here inside the box, and they got some instruction take it out and this is the instruction on how to transform Optimus and there you go you can see it and the other side is the art of Optimus and his power and they show you how to mount his weapons so here it is, Optimus, and they tie it down with rubber band. So first let's take out his pistol, or his gun. And this is similar to G1, you know, and it looks pretty cool. It looks pretty G1. So here is his battle axe. And Optimus Prime in this G1 never came with an axe, so this is one of the first time I got one. So I remember they give one in the masterpiece, the first masterpiece of Optimus Prime. And here it is, Optimus. So you need to take this all this out, so I'm gonna cut it out. So you just have to be careful with this so you don't want to hit this in your eye because these are rubber bands and you don't want to damage the toy either so you have to be careful so here is Optimus Prime he looks like G1 he looks pretty cool and this is the back and let's see his point of articulation so he could nod, he could spin his head 360, or shook his head, 
This arm could extend out. Could spin, rotate, 360. And elbow bend, about a little bit more than 90 degrees. This fist could rotate a full 360. Same with this side. Bend on the elbow. Can do a little swivel on the bicep. And a rotate on the fist. So he doesn't have, on his waist, he can't do crunches, but he can do a swivel. Oh, the 360. And his leg, he can go up all the way like this. And let's see if he can do a back kick. He can do a back kick, but not all the way. And he could do a split. And let's see the articulation on the knee. He could bend up more than 120 degrees. And there's like a little pivot point right here. So you can pose him up easily. And he looks pretty cool. And there's no complaint right here. But in the box said that he doesn't look, he looked G1 in his robot mode, but right here he doesn't look like G1. It looks like Funky with the top. So I'm gonna transform him and let's do that. I just finished transforming Optimus Prime. It looks pretty cool. But I don't like the top part, but the top part is made up of everything right here. So to me, it's pretty difficult to transform this thing without instruction. And this truck looks pretty awesome. Um, this is the back view. They try to hide all the wheels right here and look, make it look more futuristic. And they have like three millimeter pegs right here or five. Uh, so you can mount your pistol or your gun on top and this is axe when you fold it down you could put it right here there's a lot of pegs so you can plug it in you can mount it in the back too also and it looks pretty cool um the only thing is missing is his trailer you know which makes up a large part of Optimus prime so it would be cool if they have something that can mount the back of this and look more like G1 instead of just the truck. But for 30 bucks, I can't not complain. But yeah, this is so awesome. And here it opens, and opens up, but there's a little compartment. I think you can fit a matrix in there, but I don't have one right now. But let's transform him back to robot mode. So what you do, you open this part up and you pull this whole part up. And it's really difficult to transform because everything plug into places right here. So you just have to undo everything. So as you can see, this is this leg. And you have to undo this part. And it was pretty difficult for me earlier to do it. And I don't want to break it. So let's see, I think I forgot how to do it, but I'm going to do it anyway. So there you go. You have to unlatch this thing in order to pull this part up and pull this whole thing. And this whole thing folds up right here and you have to turn, you have to undo the arm and spin it around 360. So here you, his arm is tucked right here. So what I like about this, you don't have to pull out his hands, like the G1, and put it somewhere, you might lose it. This thing, everything is intact. So just fold this up. And, you know, put him in his back. And right here, just his head is tucked inside. And just pull right back up. And right here, I think you can put a matrix in there. And just fold this in. And pull that down and it looks pretty cool so I'm pretty much half done of Optimus Prime right here so this part you pull back like that 
and you fold this part down and that is his arm so is with this side this folder here and it tucks in this little peg right here and you just have to fold this thing back and right there that's the top part and you have to tuck this wheel inside his abdomen right there and this is the leg part and you have to fold it around and you have to put this from somewhere hold on oh yeah you undo the leg the foot area and you have to pull this and fold it right here and this tuck right here just like that and this fold in the back so where you can hide his, all his inside of his leg same thing with this side open his foot and pull this part out and try to hide his leg right here and a pug in this little peg right here and that's the back of Optimus Prime and I wish we could fold this somehow to hide it like that I might did it wrong maybe like that there you go and this thing should plug in this peg in the back there you go so it look more flush now from the back and Here's Optimus Prime, fully transformed from truck mode. As you can see here, I love his face scope. It looks just like G1. And Dave Hasbro did a really good job making this thing look like G1. Even his eyes blue. I don't know if you can like, see it. But yeah, okay, so this is his ax earlier. You just fold it in half, so undo that. Pull this part up. And pull out his axe from this side. And there you have it. Optimus Prime axe. And kind of disappointed right here. They didn't paint this red. Because it's obviously it's a Transformer Autobot symbol. And it should be red. So this is him mounting on the battle axe. And this is his gun, put on his right arm, and this is Optimus Prime. Awesome, very awesome. I'm, I was very excited to get this guy. And if you wanted him to hold his axe, you can put on the peg in the back, just like this. And when he wanted to use it, you can use it. But he looks cool like this. And thank you for joining me for my toy review of Optimus Prime. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. And yeah, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get future notification of my new video on my toy channel. And thank you so much. And I'll catch you guys in the next toy review. Peace out.